times that it is. And uh, as soon as I pick this pheasant up, I think of my childhood, you know, if you come to our site and you look at our house, uh, the red brick house painting I did of my dad, and uh, across that street from us, uh, it's all houses now, but it was a field that went down over the mountain, down to the woods, and down to the river. And uh, my brother and I, we could go over that field uh, any day, and uh, man, there'd be pheasants that would scare out, they'd scare the heck out of us. You know, they'd just lay there until you're almost on top of them and <laughs> go out. And I'd take my dog, my dachshund, Gay, she'd always flush them out. But that's what this does. This has a, reminds me of those feelings. And uh, so if you've got people in your life that are fishermen or uh, love flowers, look at this wonderful sunflower. And, uh, you know, bees are concerned in our world now. So I put a bee on there. Look at that honeybee nest. Isn't that wonderful? Be good for someone that uh, loves bees and flowers. And here's a great example of you know, we're not trying to get, uh, you know, I have such respect for great wildlife painters like Robert Bateman. I uh, looked at his work for years. But, you know, we wanted to bring up the decorative nature of this little raccoon. And, uh, you know, we've got a raccoon that visits, you know, our yard. He sits there, eats the cat food we put out. And we've got some possums. <laughs> Even the other night, uh, we had a possum come on the step and she went, boo! in the possum fell off the step. <laughs> we like, he fell off the step. <laughs> Think about that. He didn't run away. He just got so scared he fell off. But uh, this possum, you know, my cat sits there and just looks at him. But uh, we fought, uh, you know, in this piece to get the tail in because it's such a wonderful decorative arts thing. So, uh, but, uh, you know, that works. That really works. Uh, look at this butterfly, you know. How many monarchs have you seen in your life? So, uh, um, I think it's a wonderful, wonderful art form to work in. I mean, I'm not going to go every single one of these. Oh, I know, I wanted to show you. Look at this raccoon. This is fun. Look at this paw feet. <laughs> you know, it just makes you happy. So, uh, these I brought in from the house. Uh, this one I keep, you know, in the kitchen. And uh, you know, I don't know what I'm going to put in it yet, but uh, something's going to go in there. Uh, this guy I put in the hallway. Look at that moose. Isn't that wonderful? It's a wonderful piece. Oh, look at the glitter. I've been out here working with glitter. And uh, you can tell, man, I walk out of here, it gets all over the house, all over everything. I get glitter on my face. Go uh, shopping, I got glitter on my face. I don't even know it. kind of look, feel funny about that. <laughs> and then... Uh, so, look at that bear. Isn't that wonderful? In here, looking for uh, salmon on the waterfall. And all this started, you know, uh, it's called Nature's Canvas. It's a wonderful name. Yeah, here's a rock. You can see, if you look out uh, along our wall, here's my collection of stones. They're all lined up. And uh, I've been collecting these for about a year now. Um, you know, here's this. Uh, now, this feather is a crow feather, fell out of the sky. And uh, I don't want to take it in the house because it's illegal to have it. So, I don't know what to do with it. I hate to throw it in the trash. And I talked to the guy down at the vertebrae museum, and he told me, yeah, you can't have those. He said, you know, so... Uh, uh, I asked him last time I was down, and I said, can we look at some of your feather collection? So, uh, he, oh, he showed me some just beautiful feathers. So, uh, this is nature's canvas, and I think uh, they'll make great gifts, and I'm, I'm so happy with, uh, this is just a start. In fact, right now, I'm working on about 15 more. So, we're going to expand these already. So, thanks for coming to the studio, and uh, we'll visit with you again. Okay.